How's it going guys? Welcome back to Jump In Travels. Today, we're going to be jumping into Thailand. After landing in Phuket, we went on our first activity at Elephant Jungle Sanctuary. We booked it online for about $85 per person. The staff slowly introduced us to the elephants by having us feed them watermelons. And they also let us make them food by hand. Later, we were able to bathe them with mud and wash them down with water. This was one of my favorite experiences in Thailand. While still in Phuket, we visited Patong Beach near our stay. The beach stretch is pretty far and there's several water activities you can do, like jet ski and parasailing. There's a variety of food and souvenir stands as you walk along the beach. And you could even treat yourself to a Thai massage under shaded tents. You'll also have access to transportation that are parked along the strip. A way to get around Phuket by Tuk Tuk, whether by day or by night. We finished the day at Bangla Night Market since it offers a diverse selection of food and drinks with bars and nightclubs nearby. We even saw some street performers gathering a crowd. The area can get busy at night, but it's worth a visit. The following morning, we went to Rosada Pier to take a speedboat from Phuket to PP Island. We stayed at an Airbnb about a 30 minute walk from the pier since there aren't really cars available. It was a long walk, but the morning breakfast views were beautiful. We went back to Ao Tong Se Pier within the island where many vendors offer tour services. We took our first tour on a private long tail boat to Pile Lagoon. It was a four hour tour for about 2,000 baht, which is about $59. And you can negotiate the places you like to visit in that time frame. These areas are very popular, but we went in the afternoon and it seemed less crowded. Once you're there, you can sunbathe, jump in the water and snorkel if you like. You should add this on your to-do list if you're going to Thailand. So a lot of my friends have recommended me to eat mango sticky rice when I'm in Thailand, so let's see how it is. When it comes to Thai food, they have popular dishes like Pad Thai and different types of noodle soups. They also offer some sweets like Nutella crepes, and most dishes are actually quite affordable. Also, don't forget to try the Chang beer. One of the things you have to try out in Thailand is get a Thai massage. For less than $10, you get an hour massage. The next morning, we went back to the pier to take another four hour tour to Wang Long Bay. This area is smaller and quieter, but offers clear water you can snorkel in and enjoy the fishes swimming by. I recommend bringing water shoes if you're trying to access the beach because it gets very rocky by the shore. We also visited Monkey Beach on the same tour which is different from Monkey Bay. You can find monkeys walking around and looking for food. But the best part is really the scenery and view of the water with all the boats lined up. Back on PP Island, you can walk along the side of the Low Dalung Beach and find pool parties filled with young crowds during the day 
and even into the night. The nightlife kicks up a notch with several bars and restaurants located right on the shore where you can find different types of entertainment. Another unique thing to do at night is visiting Reggae Bar, where you'll see both amateurs and professionals in Muay Thai fights for the cost of one drink. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. So if you're planning a trip to Thailand, make sure you include the best parts of this video that you want to experience throughout Phuket and PP Islands. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching and jump in with me next time. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.